Good morning world. How are we doing this morning? The time is quarter to six in the morning and it's looking a really nice day today. And a lot of people have been up and about already. Look at that for a day. I feel like I've had a bit of a lion as well waking up at half past five this morning because I've missed the sunrise and a lot of drivers have gone. <laughs> first things first, got my wash bag, let's go have a shower, do my teeth, feel a little bit more alive, shall we? And sort this hair out, because what's going on with the fringe? What's a bit, a bit dodgy, that, that. Nice clean facilities. And we've got a shower section here for the drivers. As you can see, nice and clean. So you've got a nice seating area here for the Costa. And you've got your WH Smiths, KFC, your Burger King, um, Asian kitchen over there in the corner, which is real nice. You can also pay with your Snap account. Nice little seating area, even a little play area for the kids. Quite like that feature though, in the middle. So yeah, it's quite a nice one. And it's even got a Greg's. Yeah, so overall for truckers, it's definitely worth staying at. On the M4, I'm going um, westbound at the moment, so I don't know what the other side's going to be like. But the parking facilities are really big as well, as you can see there. Overall, for trucking facilities, for what they got, how nice the place is, as in like, it's been modernised, etc. Solid 8 out of 10, definitely worth it. Before I do get back in the truck though, quick walk around, make sure there's no damage to the curtains. All the lights are going to be still working. Check your tyres as well, make sure there's no punctures and not going flat overnight. You never know, you could have went on a nail just before you parked up. So let's give my mirror a little bit of a clean down. Just get rid of all that spray from last night well, over the last day or so anyway you get a bit of grime build up on your mirrors sometimes more well, the grit on the road but what a bloody beautiful morning it really is nice all right so we can get straight out onto the m4 roads looking quite good not far away from the destination only 15 miles to go flash the lights thank you thumbs up thanks for letting me out <laughs> we're doing 40 miles per hour thank you god he's a little bit close to that truck wasn't it oh, i've got a good feeling about today folks i really have hopefully i'm gonna be home for the night that's, that's the main thing isn't it Nice clear skies. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Okay, as I was saying, 15 miles to my first destination, due to get there for seven o'clock. They don't actually open until half past seven though. So at least if we get there nice and early, so when they open the gates, I can get straight in. I've got, I think it's three pallets for this place off the top of my head. And it's going to a place in Yates. I do believe a Yates, yeah, Yates, Y A T E. It's like a little village place. Been here a few times, not to this place, but I've been to Yates before because on the same industry estate, just underneath the bridge on either side, there's um, a place that we go to quite regular as well. It feels weird waking up down this part of the country. So it's a good sign when you see another Arctic driving down these roads. <laughs> I always get a little bit concerned though when you go down little country roads. I know this one's not too bad at the moment, but the place I'm going to, it does get quite narrow. I think I have been this way before though, to the estate that I'm driving to. I think I might have done it once before. I think it does get a little bit smaller, the roads. You see the variety driving down, you think, yep, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> I've been to some places though where you don't see an Arctic for probably like an hour of driving down little country roads, it just gets narrower and narrower. You're like, okay, am I going to the right place? Is it down here somewhere? That's typically farms though for you. Just try and 
keep a good eye out for some wildlife as well because you sometimes see deer running around this time in the morning which is quite nice to the right hand side of this little white line as I can. Quite a quite tight turn. A zigzag road to the next three quarters of a mile. If the roads are like this all day, I wouldn't mind it. Nice and quiet, isn't it? Less traffic, the better. Because we've got the sunroof open as well, I can hear all the birds tweeting. <laughs> it's quite nice. tight one to get out of this yard it's not too bad turning in but when you're doing a left turn it's a little bit more tighter right, let's get sun visor up next job 16 miles away uh, look at about a 45 minute drive might be a little bit more though depending on traffic I'm heading towards, oh, the A38, what's well, a B road by the looks of it. Hopefully it's gonna be all right for trucks. I've not exited this way before. The way I normally exit is to the left. And I go towards the M5. Um, this way is pretty much cutting across and it's going down like a little B road. <laughs> Hopefully it's all right. <laughs> find out shortly I'm sure of that once there's no low bridges it should be okay yep starting to get a little bit narrow around here isn't it already <laughs> more than five minutes into it still got 15 miles to go <laughs> Okay, it's not a problem. It's no problem. <laughs> as long as it doesn't get too much narrower, I should hopefully be alright. Acton Court, that looks really nice around there actually. I just need to be careful around these corners because the hedges are so high you can't see any vehicles what are coming round and sometimes the trailer or another car may cut the corner a little bit so I need to take the corner as wide as I can so keep into these white lines in the middle luckily past here and not back there for that other truck it's quite a nice truck to be fair nice little drive around the countryside at 10 to 8 in the morning It's always a good sign again when you see another truck. Hopefully the area is good size for us all to get through. Just to get a little bit more narrow up ahead again. Now 
25 miles per hour max speed around the corner. Gives you a little bit of a warning as well. Vehicles may be in the middle of the road. I was turning, like myself. Not too narrow at the moment. Both getting past each other are okay. Just got to be a little bit more cautious really with these turns. Just keep it nice and wide so the trailer follows it around nicely. road I'm currently on is the B4059. Main concern of that is that it's a B road and not an A road, so we're always a little bit narrower for trucks. I was trying to avoid the B road when possible. Again, that's a good sign if a truck's coming through. Just gotta take it nice and easy. Let's pull over for a little bit. That's good. Right, good timing. Hopefully I can get around this corner onto a straight before another truck comes around. Earthcot. Odd name, isn't it? Earthcot. village can't see any supermarkets being around here though <laughs> it's like one of the little villages that you got to drive 25 miles to go to the nearest Tesco's at least we've got home delivery though eh and here we go opens up a little bit more it's good At least it was a nice, nice and big place to come into. Hopefully I've come into the right place. <laughs> I'm at the right business area, but these machineries are really cool, aren't they? A lot of big diggers, dump trucks, bulldozers are around as well. That's one way system Call up for deliveries. And hopefully, like you say, I've come in the right way for trucks. Yeah, goods in are over there, that's good. Perfect. Look at the size of them things. Makes my truck look tiny. Yeah, really cool to drive one of them though, wouldn't it? If we were to drive straight back to Warrington, I'll be looking at 167 miles and three and a half hours drive. Uh, realistically, probably looking more about four hours, maybe five, because I've got to take the 45 minute break as well for the driving and working time directed. But it's pretty much straight up the M5, up to the M6, and away I go. A little bit of a maze to try and get out of this place. <laughs> Weren't sure if I was going in the right direction at one point. I need to try and find a little shop that I can get a drink and then try and get like a meal deal of some sort before I get onto the services because their service prices are going to be quite expensive aren't they? It's not a problem when you have a night out. If you don't plan for the next day of food, it's going to cost you a bit. I don't know if an accident is literally just happened in front. 
because the motorway is quite clear I think it just has fit and actually just, just literally happened so the car here too close to the truck obviously oh no it's all smashed up on the side they're still inside the car everybody seems to be all right two trucks not too bad smashed luckily and you like that car there as well doesn't look to be any damage on that car to be honest been got quite lucky It's the first time I've seen a police undercover car being in a minute, that's for sure. The last car, it looked like it might have been sideswiped by the trailer, possibly. It looked like it's a bit of scuff damage on the passenger side, rear and the door as well I'm not too sure exactly what happened but yeah everybody seems to be okay it doesn't look like too bad of a crash luckily because a car and a truck involving each other in an accident can turn out to be really really bad so they got lucky there Whoa, big stretch I need to stretch my legs as well the time is now 10 to 12 Making quite good timing actually, I've no traffic at all getting through Birmingham, up the M6, it's been fantastic so far, M5 really clear and I've just pulled over now to get some dinner over at Stafford Services, so amazing, I've got 30 minutes left driving time so I thought I might as well just take full 45 to cover the working time and the driving time directives and um, yeah, get some dinner and then hit the road continuing up to Warrington for the rest of the day. I'm not too sure what I'm doing in the afternoon. I've got a nip to do hub, empty off what I've got on the trailer and um, cause some pallets didn't get delivered yesterday due to like a mix up with the paperwork. So I've got a couple of pallets on still and get that emptied off and then probably collections around Warrington and Witness area I reckon. So hopefully and fingers crossed the rest of the day is going to be just as smooth and get a decent finish time today and get home. Definitely be getting home anyway but yeah hopefully a good time though. On the way back towards the depot, I've been diverted over towards the Nutsford area and Holmes Chapel. I've got two collections. So I've got the first one is um, it's like a farm machinery place. So I've collected a couple of pallets from there. And then um, we've got some tiles to be collected over in Nutsford. Uh, let's be careful of this here. A bit of plastic, uh, plastic barrier, I think it was, half in the road. It's a really nice drive around here, isn't it? Nice big roads, good view. Seven Sisters ice cream there. Looks a bit like the Cheshire ice cream factory. I've been meaning to give that a go actually. Let's take Albert to the Cheshire ice cream factory place. Really good for the kids. Can't beat fresh ice cream though as well. Especially when it's produced on the farm as well. There you go to. And it's about two miles down this road that I need to go before we're at the destination. waiting at the junction. It's literally in the middle of nowhere this place. That's a truck in there already. Um, so it's a bit congested this yard to say the least. Park it up here for a second. Let's van get past. 
and I'll be driving down in front. First collection all done with. On to the second one. The second one's probably about four or five miles away, straight down this road through Knutsford, take a right and it's down to the estate, nice and easy. Just left the depot, got emptied off, and now the plan of action is going to Kirby to make a full collection um, from one of the companies over there. So it's Kirby Industry Estate, and I'm not too sure how many pallets it is. They've just ordered a full Arctic empty to be there instead of a class two, so I presume there's gonna be about 20 pallets or so. But we'll find out when we get there. <coughs> Unfortunately, I've got quite a few cars parked at the end, so I've got to reverse all the way back out onto the road. And all I'm doing is keeping it just nice and steady and to get a little bit closer to that van. do a gradual turn towards the gate, you've got to stay pretty close to the gate. So one of the other drivers stood just out of camera shot, letting me know that the road was clear. Oh, thanks, Grass. Appreciate that. Perfecto! And away we go! All the farmers are out today. You can smell it in the air as well, all the mignon. <laughs> but I've seen quite a lot of them driving to and from Liverpool today. All out with the cedars, they've got the cultivators out, they're riding along. So what? I'd love to do that for a day. If there's any farmers out there in the northwest who want a little bit of helping hand for a day, won't charge too much. Hook us up. <laughs> I have a little day out in the tractor driving around. I've always watched a driving tractor, being honest with you. So if anybody is there who knows a couple of you know, contacts, hook us up. <laughs> It'd be fun. It'd be a fun day to do. I don't mind a bit of graft. I've got a lot of respect for farmers, if being honest. I think they're probably one of the only ones that work 
longer hours than myself. Long and hard work as well, isn't it, they do? Love it, especially when they're doing all the harvesting and stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool. Driving the little tractors with a trailer next to the harvesters, collecting all the grain. Pretty fun, I reckon. And just like that, back at the yard, ready to be unloaded. We've all got 10 pallets on, so it shouldn't be too long. And there's one truck in front of me at the moment, so I'm waiting for them to finish as well. So then I can go in, get unloaded. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I really do appreciate all the support. Honestly, guys, it really means a lot. So I'm thanking you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And I'll see you again tomorrow, 7 p.m. on YouTube, because I'm loaded Monday to Friday, when I'm at work anyway. In the meantime, take care of yourself, stay safe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.